Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am wonderful. I am back with another Dollar Tree haul for you and I found some pretty interesting things. Oh my goodness guys, did you see what was in my thumbnail? It is in this beautiful red and black box. Look how beautiful this box is. It is called the Cirrus, C-I-R-R-U-S and what it is called is curly and ripply, if you can see that on there. And it is a hair device. I, I will get it out of the box. And what it does, I'm going to see where it, it set it on here somewhere. It's really hard to read because how, how shiny that is. But it says, a revolutionary styler to add volume, create waves, and shape an effortlessly tousled look with ease. Interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you. It shows you what all is in here. There's different little tchotchkes to change out on this kind of brush head. I'm gonna go ahead and open this and it's kind of funky how it opens. Let's see if I can do this without hurting myself beautiful inside box as well and then it all folds down the packaging is incredible let's see if i can do this that is the inside of the box and it gives you all the different directions in here it has tips one tips two tips three those are all different styles of tips and then it all folds back up and then this would go on top. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on if I can quickly. I can, it just goes back on top. And then this is the device. And this is a case that it comes in. This is the kind of brush thing. I'll show you in a second. And these are all the different tips that you can change it out with but it shows you here. These are more of a flat tip, and then these are more like jaggy. I don't know what you wanna call it. And then what you do, and then this is the little case that it comes in. And then what you do is you push this little lever on the side, and if you watch, they turn. Okay, well, me and hubby tried it whenever we got home from the Dollar Tree. You know, seeing those beautiful boxes, I almost picked up two. I am so, so glad I only picked up one. This hurts. It hurts. What you do is you put it in your hair and you twist. And it tangles. It tangles up your hair. I actually, when we got home, I actually sat down that evening and looked on YouTube and found some videos for this device, this Cirrus Curly and Ripley, C-I-R-R-U-S. Look up some videos on this. Everybody says the same thing, it hurts. It just makes your hair a big tangled mess. Don't get this guys, don't get it, it hurts. <laughs> It's like it yanks your hair as it's twisting in there. But I had to get it to see what it was. Very nicely made, very lightweight, but it makes a big, big mess on your hair. Hysterical. Beautiful packaging. Don't buy this. Please don't buy it. And if you do, please let me know if you tried it, what your thoughts were on it, but please don't hurt yourself because it hurts. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set this out of the way somewhere. I can't even imagine doing that to your whole head and then having to brush it or comb it out. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, let's get started. Just a few food items, I think. Well, several, I guess, but Picked up some of these to have on hand. The, the stock, the shelves were stocked with these. We love them. They're the Hungry Jack hash browns in just the original. You just add hot water in here up to the little line and you let them set for, I think it's 12 minutes. 
and then dump out whatever liquid is left and then cook them as you would. Either fry them, use them in a casserole, whatever. These are just awesome. And I like having them on hand, especially during the holiday time. We make a hash brown casserole for on Thanksgiving morning and then on Christmas day morning. And just you just do these like that. You add your like whipped up eggs, whatever you would want in it, green peppers, onions, cooked bacon, cooked sausage, whatever you would want. Put it in a casserole dish, put it in the oven for probably an hour and you're done. Breakfast, easy peasy and it's delicious. And the expiration, I keep saying expiration. Yes, people, I know it's Best Buy is April of 23. They're both April of 23. So these will get me through the holidays. But I really wanna start picking up things now, just to have on the shelf, why not? So grab those, throw them here on the floor. Grabbed a couple more of these teas, just because they're good. These are so good. Hubby loves them, I love them, Harper absolutely loves them. So we grabbed a couple of these to have on hand while while she's gonna be here, hopefully. And it is the Tejava, Tejava, and this is the raspberry black tea. These are not sweetened with anything. These are unsweet. I think so anyway, yes, unsweet. I was hoping they didn't change it. So you have to add your own sweetener if you would want it, but we like it that way. So we picked up a couple of the raspberry and we picked up a couple of the peach. This tea is delicious. It is so good. Don't be afraid to buy this. Is it a great deal? I'm sure it's not for $1.25, but every once in a while having something like this and something this good, it's worth it. Put these down here. They have out now the Swanson beef broth. So again, I picked up two of these to have just here for when I need them or for the holidays. I think that's a great deal on Swanson. No big name brand on that. The Best Buy is something 24. I can read the 24 easily. June, June of 24. So nice long shelf life on these two. Great deal. We didn't see any other flavors. So I don't know if there's chicken out there or turkey. I don't know, but they had beef. Grab two. I use these a lot making homemade soups and even in gravies, that type of thing. It's excellent. Let me slide these out of the way. And then guys, we picked up two of these. They had real 100% olive oil. And this is the Gourmet Empire Extra Virgin Olive Oil Traditional Aegean Taste. And it is a 5.91 fluid ounce bottle. And in the ingredients, if I can read it, is just extra virgin olive oil. There's no other additives, there's no soybean oil, there's no vegetable oil, whatever they like to add to extra virgin olive oil. This is just straight up 100% extra virgin olive oil. Let me see if I can read it quickly because the print is so small on these guys. It is a product of Turkey. I think it says Turkey. I think that says Turkey. So I think that was excellent. So we just grabbed two. And I'm not gonna open it because I don't know if there's an inner seal on these or not. And you can tell it kind of has that plastic twisty, like the untwist type seal. So I'm assuming there isn't an actual foil seal in there, but I think that is excellent. So we just grabbed two of those to have on hand. And then the last of the food items, they have these nice big bags of the Tootsie Roll Midgies, if all vanilla, my favorite. I couldn't even believe these were there. I think that's great, but these are my favorite. When I was a kid and you'd get the the assorted bag of the Tootsie Rolls, like they had orange in there and strawberry or cherry and lime, I would always pick out the vanilla and make everybody else mad. But this is a 5.83 ounce bag, peanut free and gluten free. Love that. So picked up that just to have on on hand. I'll share them with the grandkids maybe if they're nice. <coughs> Excuse me guys. Picked up a box of my Scotty's tissues. I have been on the lookout guys for the 200 count now for how long? You guys keep telling me they're out there. I can't find them. Can't find them anywhere. 
So these are 148 count. I grabbed those because I can't find the 200 and I'm almost out of tissues. So just grabbed one box. If you guys are still seeing them out there, let me know because I haven't found them in any of my stores, but I'm sure once they're put out on the shelf, they probably fly off the shelf. So I still think it's a great deal for 148. And I love this, the Scotty's brand, but I love the Dollar Tree brand too. And I can't find them right now. Man, I'm telling you, just doing that little brush thing in my hair just once, it just, ooh. And then I wanted to show you these. These are the little dressing bottles. I don't, I think they're made of silicone. It just says traveling dressing or travel dressing container by cooking concepts. They're little like, I don't know if they're styrofoam or not styrofoam, but silicone or what, but they have the little twist off top and you can just put whatever type of dressing in here that you would want. If you want ranch or Italian or whatever, but Javi came up with a genius idea and we've been doing it and I only have one of these. So we picked up two more. He saw them, he grabbed them. He goes out for lunch or not lunch, but for breakfast every once in a while with some buddies from work. He takes his own creamer in one of these to take to the restaurant. I think that is genius. So I wanted one for myself to put my creamer in. Cause you guys, if you watch my Walmart hauls, you know I like the sugar-free creamer, French vanilla. Of course, restaurants don't have that. So I wanted one for myself and me. I love McDonald's iced coffee, but you know how it is when you get an iced coffee at a drive-thru like that, sometimes even if you ask for extra cream, extra syrup, whatever, they don't put it in and it is like straight up coffee. So from now on, when I'm going out and about, I'm just gonna pour myself a little thing of creamer in, with one of these and take it along. So just a suggestion for you. They're really nice too. The one that we have, we have had it now for, oh boy, probably three years and it is still in excellent shape. There are no problems with it whatsoever. So these are great. And they had all different colors to choose from as well. And just a couple more things, guys. Hubby grabbed this. It is a yogurt cup. My color, love it. Has kind of a little grippy band around it. I don't think you can take that off easily. It has the twist off top. That's just the container. And then the top twists off, the entire top twists off. And then this top of the top comes off as well. So you could put granola in here and then close it. It comes with its own little built-in spoon. Put your yogurt in here. Or if you trusted it, you could even put some milk in here, your cereal up here, and have a little bowl of cereal. So grab that. Or ice cream with whatever you want on top, whatever. But cute, and I love that color. You can tell it's like, I'm that mint green type of girl. And then we saw these and thought they were so cute for the the two youngest grand grand ladies. These are called Poppin toothbrush. I am not going to open these, but it says that you push his belly and extend it extends the toothbrush handle. So the toothbrush might, must be down inside his body, and you push his little belly, and the toothbrush comes out. They had several different animals to choose from. We saw in the store the elephant, the turtle, or the frog, the tiger, the cow, the lion. We did not see, I believe that's a llama. We didn't see that one. So we got the tiger and the little cow. Look how cute those are. So we grabbed one of each. I think I'll put these in their, in their little Christmas stockings. Just adorable. And then guys, this just blew my mind. They have been getting so many books in. This book is massive. I don't know if you can see that. And it's made out of the, the hard cardboard. I hope this isn't another Moby Dick debacle. But this is the Lala Loopsy brand. Lala Loopsy was a, a doll trend that looked like this here several years back. Well, now all the Lala Loopsy stuff is coming out in Dollar Tree. But this is a Scholastic book. I think that's amazing. And the price was $9.99 US, $11.99 Canada. And it says it has 40 more than 40 flaps. So when you open the book, 
it's going to be really hard for me to show you, but there's little flaps all over it. And you can read this story and then open the little flaps. I thought that was so cute. This will not go to the youngest grand lady right now because I did buy some pop-up books and she's just too little for that. She doesn't understand that you're not supposed to play with the pop-up part. So a couple books have already been destroyed, but that's okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So I picked up this one and this one will get put away for Christmas for her. Hopefully by then, you know, we're another how many months out? Five months out. Hopefully by then she'll she'll understand that, you know, you can't be ripping apart the books. But they're dollar twenty-five and she loves her books. So that's really cute. I have no idea if there are others like this. This was the only one I saw. So anyway, guys, that is it for this haul. I'm going to get off of here and start my day and get myself something for lunch. I'm hungry. I hope you guys are doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys mean the world to me. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.